Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the southern United States. It's warm. It's 82 degrees. The winter in December. Oh, yeah. it's, it's amazing. It's wonderful. <laughs> but that's not the reason why we are coming to you now. We actually found a perfect RV manufacturer in our heads. <laughs> Let us explain. We actually spent last month in northern Indiana with our rig getting repaired. We came to the realization while we were up there what the perfect RV manufacturer looks like. This is our third grand design. After we got through the front door, took care of us. But they would not allow us to film their factory or the process of how they repaired our rig, which was a red flag to us. Yeah, the lack of, you know, what's it called? Transparency? <laughs> yeah. So, without the transparency, that checks Grand Design off for us. So, while we were up there, we contacted Alliance. Mm -hmm. And they were more than welcome to let us come in and take a tour of the factory, of the build process, video everything. They were more than happy. And, and we're kind of confused as to why Grand Design wouldn't allow that for us. Even though there are tens of other Grand Design factory tours out there. Not just factory tours, but also service tours. Sur service tour, everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but Alliance welcomed us in. <clears throat> they were upfront. They were honest. When I questioned their customer service about how they do things and do they see themselves as one of the better customer service companies, she immediately said, we are not perfect. Not every company not every manufacturer company out there. Not every company is going to say that. Yeah, no. yeah. So it was, it was great. <laughs> So we took their tour, and in this video, um, when we show you the tour here in a minute, that's one of the first things she says. They mm -hmm. try to be proactive, and they, they make sure that if they have a problem from a customer down the line, they, they go and look at their manufacturing line right now and see if that is still a problem or how they can fix that for the future generation of the RVs that they, they produce. So with that said, Alliance we also monitor and take and look after some of their, or not look after, but kind of snoop around on some of their <laughs> Facebook groups of, you know, concerns and problems that Alliance people have. And there is one of their top people, um, Bill Martin, mm -hmm. he monitors all of their, their Facebook stuff. And he'll chime in and say, hey, here's my direct number, call me. You know, people will say, I've got a problem with this. And he'll chime right in. He'll be one of the first ones to chime in at all hours, mm -hmm. any, any weekends and everything. That speaks volumes to me mm -hmm. about Alliance. They take care of their products, they take care of their customers, and they are very proactive at everything that they do when it comes to issues down the road. Now, if, if someone backs into a, a post and destroys the back wall, are they gonna repair everything under warranty? Uh, no. And so, you know, that kind of brings us back to the whole start and point of this video. Did we find a perfect RV manufacturer? Yes and no. It is all comes down to the fit and finish and customer service. You do not have no one. I don't care what you make, what somebody does. You don't have a product if you don't have customer service. Period. With that said, I think we're going to blow some bubbles and do a little bit more <laughs> sidewalk chalk and we will cut to our Alliance tour. Um, and listen to what they have to say and we'll show you what all we saw. I don't know how much you guys know about the Alliance story, but Ryan and Coley Brady, their father started Heartland RV, um, which eventually sold out to Thor. So they've seen both the private and the corporate side of the industry. They didn't love what was happening to the customer service and the quality. So in 2019, they started Alliance. They didn't build anything for an entire year. They just collected information from full timers, from weekenders. They started collecting their sales team. Uh, all of our sales team, I don't think anyone has less than 10 plus years experience in the industry. So they were coming from other manufacturers knowing where those warranty issues were. You'll see the areas that they really focused on beefing up to try to be more proactive than reactive. Our PDI bay, our pre-delivery inspection bay. Over to the side, fill up all the tanks with water and take it for about a 15 minute bump test. This is kind of our last line of defense that some other manufacturers don't do, trying to make sure that it, everything's going to stay in place where it needs to go. We also send texts to our sales 
representatives uh, throughout the day, every time a unit is ready to go. And if they're available, they'll come out and do a random audit. So they'll go through it as if they're selling it to a close friend or a family member and just mark everything that they see that might be an issue. Now this first bay is where the frames roll in, the tanks go in, a lot of the plumbing and a lot of the electrical that's run through the frame goes in here as well. Now on their competitors, you are not supposed to travel with your holding tanks full, but Alliance puts enough structure underneath and support of their holding tanks that you can travel down the road with them full. It doesn't absorb water, it doesn't absorb humidity, but it'll always pop back to its original shape. So wood is going to give and keep giving until it breaks, and Vixen will pop back up and keep going back to its original shape. You guys have heard of Asdel, another composite material that's used in outer walls um, through most of the industry. Um, so again, Asdel won't absorb moisture. Um, if, if water does get in between here, it's just going to slide right through. It won't create mildew or rot or anything like that. So we use Asdel on this outer wall, but we also use it on the inner wall. And because of this inner Asdel wall and Vixen flooring in the toy hauler section, Alliance says that you can actually wash off your toys, your razor, your four-wheeler, in the back toy hauler section. That's pretty awesome. Alliance's competitors, however, use plywood floors and Luon walls. Both soak water up like a sponge and are not approved for any type of water intrusion. So campers with slide outs, you will see in the bottom corners of the inside of the slide a little air gap. Alliance adds these little pieces right here to help alleviate that big air gap. Keeps bugs out, keeps air out, keeps everything warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer days. So the quality control team at Alliance goes up and down the line all day long and they put little pieces of tape like you've seen here on any kind of problem. Some of these problems we couldn't even find. We didn't know what they were talking about, but it's something that a trained eye could see. Now, we love this process because they can go back and trace where the problem started and solve it. And here you can see in this little triangle a little bitty gouge in the sticker. During our factory tour, we were able to see this beautiful full body paint, two bedroom, two full bath, fifth wheel. It is the 395 DS. Being on the road full time with two kids, this bedroom would be awesome to put a bunk in that slide out and have all of this floor space for the kids to have a dedicated room on their own. A lot bigger than a regular bunk room. Love this seating arrangement as well. Another thing that is awesome about Alliance, they use all PECs for their plumbing. They also include shutoff valves at all of their faucets and the toilets. You won't find that with their competitors. Their competitors use some PECs and mostly the cruddy, flimsy flex hose. All right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, 
that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we made sense. I hope I made sense. I seem to ramble more than you do. But either way, check out Alliance for your next rig. Call them. If you have any questions, call them. Ask them. They are very open. But that'll do it for us for now. And uh, until next time, safe travels, everyone.